Hello seniors, welcome to your next flipped classroom lecture. Today we're going to be looking at chronological markers in going after Cacciato. Um, I'm using the term chronological markers uh, to suggest this. Uh, that is indicators of time in a nonlinear narrative. Uh, and so chronological obviously means time, marker is an indicator, and so these are going to be indicators of time within our narrative. As you know, going after Cacciato is a nonlinear narrative. It is told in three parts, and we are in the process of trying to figure out the order of events in each of those parts. While you're reading Going After Cacciato, your chronological markers are these clues right here. Um, as Paul Berlin is telling the story, some of the chapters that he talks about will be various months that things happen. One of the best indicators is going to be who is still alive and who is dead. And then some of them will be locations, for example, are they in the mountains? Are they on base? Are they in the hills? Those kinds of things will be some indicators as well. It's these clues that are the hardest things to find because just like any clue, you really have to look for it. These are not things that are just going to necessarily jump out at you. Tim O'Brien wants this to be a complex novel. It's purposefully complex, so you have to do the work and actually look for the individual clues. What we're going to look at next is I'm actually going to show you some of the clues that help put part of the novel in chronological order. We are going to look at the death of Pedersen. Jim Pedersen is one of our characters. Uh, he is killed in Landing Zone Bravo in Chapter 20. Uh, and we can see that uh, kind of right here. Pedersen shot first in the legs. That takes place on page 131. That one's pretty easy, right, to identify that he's killed. Um, the reason that we know it is this chapter is the second in the chronology, that it's two of three, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> so in chapter 11, titled Fire in the Hole, uh, this is the last one. This is three of three. Because it starts off with Pedersen is a mess uh, and that he is already dead. So we know that chapter 11 happens after chapter 20. Because Pedersen is already dead. He was a mess. They wrapped him in his dog tags, uh, taped his mouth shut, all that different stuff. So, we know that this one is three of three. Him getting shot was the middle chapter. Let's look at the first chapter. This is chapter 25. This is one of the examples of what I meant with a clue is very tricky to see sometimes. So, this is the way it mostly was. This is Paul Berlin marching. And... It's very casually just mentioned. First off, um, they're marching up something, which is important later on. So keep that in mind, because they're marching up a mountain right now. We'll come back to that later in the week, though. But what we want right here is this little section right here. Shiny sweat like polish on the bare backs of Eddie Lazuti and Pedersen and Vought. And this is going to give us a chronological marker for two different things because it gives us the names of Pedersen and Vought, both of whom are characters who end up leaving Third Squad. Because Pedersen is mentioned here, we know that chapter 25 comes before twenty and chapter 11, both. And so this, at least in terms of our Pedersen uh, chronology, is our first chapter. So 20, 11, and then 25. These are just some of the ways that you're going to find clues. Is looking for things like that. So seeing who's... 
Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. Hopefully the recording's still going on. Um, as I was saying, these are the way you guys are going to look for clues is by looking for little tiny things like this, like the name of a character or where they are, um, and then being able to piece together how the chapters fit together like that. So now you have at least the Pedersen storyline of alive, getting shot, and then right after he's dead to help you put the chronology together. Uh, please don't forget to take the quiz, and please continue to work on your own chronological work so that on Wednesday we can check it. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful evening. Mr. Miller out.